Okay, okay, that's enough. I hear all the girls there are hot as hell. No way, maybe I should have become a fighter too. Ah, oh, forget it, I'd never make it. You know, that attitude. My brain farted because I didn't know what the hell was going on. I'm a justice guy. Oh, that's where rich people and persons people uh, fights pay off. Man. One last smoke before I'm robbed of my humanity. Ah She'll ever know there was a key. Who is this guy? My wife told me you're you have too many pocket circuit cards. Throw them away. I spent decades collecting them, so it really hurt. Are you a pocket circuit player too? Since we both all the races, want to chat about pocket circuits sometimes? Why is it glowing? Oh, the little light. I heard it's called Fuku Pichan. Isn't it super cute? Some might call it hell. But either way, you're having one heck of a time. I didn't see where that was going from. Yeah, yeah. I'm going down. Of matches. That's where rich people pay uh, pay support on the fight. I'm probably not going to play any of the gambling specific games. But there isn't really a need. No bunny girl rental service, what is that point? What if I need someone to chase down a rabbit? Something on your nose. Magica.
Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Let me know if you guys see anything. I'm looking for a blue flame. Terrible, you guys didn't even tell me. Hey, Jory, did you know there are certain places you can and can't go in the castle? Mm. What kind of places? Well, like I said, right now we got Silver Tiger. In the castle, that means we're Silver Rank. And that means we can't enter places reserved for gold and platinum fighters. Mm. In the Colosseum, if you're not gold or higher, then you can't compete in higher level fights. Those are where all the real money's at. That's what gets you into the VIP lounge, where you can buy all sorts of new stuff. See, there's lots of good things to come out with you raising your rank. Mm. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. Seems like a good idea, but what do I need to do? <sighs> Easy, you just gotta meet the castle requirements. I guess there's two of them. Anna? First, we need to raise the Akami network level. <sighs> we do that by making money and gaining trust to the legit parts of Sotenbu. That'll earn us favor in the castle. Mm. Then we gotta increase our fame. Best way to do that is fighting in the Colosseum. Mm. So level up the Akame network and resource results in the Colosseum. Yep, and when the network's at level 10, you've beaten three of the silver rank um, silver rank fights, the gold be yours. Well, that was easy, no? When you're done, I'll get you a brand new gold tiger, so just holler. Well, I'll get the, I did two of those. Uh. Got it. Good night, Faz. I go to sleep. Bye, Fox, but thank you. I hope you enjoyed the lurkies. One of my friend against Hammer, uh, Hammerhead. Maybe I should have Mizorogi uh, a visit to, uh, and thank him about the gadgets. Now I've met the requirements for gold rank. I should report to Akame. Well, that was you. Master, try and hit me. Hello. I believe you received an email from my brother some time ago. I'm sure you've heard of Try and Hit Me Brothers, a moniker renowned throughout the Colosseum. The, I happen to be the older sibling in that duo. Truth be told, flinging mud into the faces of arrogant rookies and putting them in their place is a beloved hobby of mine. I would like, you to, invite, I would like to invite you to share in the joys of this hobby with me. To survive in the castle, above all, money is key, is it not? If you manage to be best me in our bout, I will reward you handsomely. I believe you will find our time together much more satisfying than your tussle with my brother. I shall wait it for you near the receptionist in the casino of the of the castle. <laughs> hey, I joined you. I see you've made it to gold rank. Uh. How did you already know? <laughs> Psh, I make a living collecting information, don't I? Think you're squared with the castle, sir, and I got you this. Now you're proof of getting hitting gold rank. Your very own gold tiger. You obtain gold tiger and reach gold rank. The following functions in the fat castle have now been unlocked. Special matches in the Coliseum, the VIP lounge, the VIP room in the boutique, and fast travel. Uh. This will let me go to places I couldn't go before. Sayane. That's right. Now you can go to the VIP lounge where all the super rich folks hang out. You're bound to hear something interesting there. Could be worth it to stop on. Oh, don't forget, you can participate in gold rank fights at the Coliseum now, too. Your opponents will be stronger than before, but the rewards are even better. Cool. That's all. Maybe I'll take a look next time I'm there. Mm. So now that you've made gold, time to set yourselves on the final rank platinum. <sighs> platinum. What do I do with this? Do I raise the network's level and fight in the Colosseum? You got it. Get the network's level to 20 and win three gold rank fights. Uh. Well, the gold rank fights is easy enough. Great. I'll make that my next goal. Get platinum. No way in the castle. It will be off limits. And I'm sure it'll be best to uh, place a round for a night on the town. It'll be a tough path, but try your best, you or you. And don't forget to try out your new gold privilege. Uh. 
that's it. That's the plan. Well, before I get forget, you must. You've been so good with the jobs. Why don't we get ourselves a little bit more? <laughs> <coughs> you heard of Stigi? It's a bar in Sotemuri. This happens to be a personal favorite of mine. So how about it? Drink something. Uh. Sure, I'll take you up on that. Oh, Guinea. Great. Let's get going. Friends in special places. Wow, nice place. うん。<笑><笑> I have a choice? Hmm. Foxbot leaves. And all I can do is wonder what I should ask a woman. Hmm. Are you sure I'm not imposing during your free time? I feel like X would be the one that Kiryu would say. I can relate seems like such a non-stop uh, answer i'll keep you company seems like a good mate move i'm gonna go with the, what my gut and that'll be pressing circle to everything上流付き合うてくれたけどええの忙しかったんちゃう<笑> <laughs><笑>こういうのは思い立ったが吉日や。それに今日は全部うちのおごりやって言うたら。Not just a drink。せやろ。さ、いっぱい飲もう。これからもバシャ馬のように働いてもらわなあかんからな。人使いの悪いボスだ。だが実際大したもんだ。赤目ネットワークだったか。あれはあんた一人で立ち上げたもんなのかそう。大変やったで。別にうちは裏社会の人間ってわけやないし、特別な子ねがあったわけでもない。ハイベスキー。ホームレスの人たち一人一人と仲良くなっていくのを繰り返
if I'm being honest, I wanted to be like the person I looked up to the most, which was Kaz, um, uh, was his dad, uh, Kazama. And uh, I wanted to be on top of the world. It's more like a Nishiki thing. So I'm going to go with, I want to, I want to hope for a Nishiki answer. But the the truth is more like we're saying X. But when in doubt, press circle. てっぺん取りたかったかな。スケールでっかいね。ええやん。でも何のてっぺん? <laughs> ガキだったって話だ。ええや、どんな夢見たって。風呂敷広げるんはただや。ああ、それもそうだ。何か悩み事でもあるのか。なんでそう思うん?でかい組織のトップってのは気苦労が絶えないだろうからな。それは確かに。でも大丈夫。ならいいんだ。ありがとうな、上流。気ぃつこてくれて。確かにうちネットワークのこととか人様に言えん秘密がいっぱいの謎大きい女や。酒の勢いで言うたらあかんこと言うてし
Uh, sorry. If a guy as magnetic as he was really has turned up again, I'll put the balance of Sotenburi at risk. In this, in that case, I might have to take a move, make a move of my own. You know. Uh. I see what you mean. All right. I'll look at you. Money. You will. Wow. You sure quick to volunteer. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Just happens to be in the mood. So now what? Now what? Where do I start? Anna. I have a handful of credible witness reports, and I want you to suss them out. Uh. Fair enough. Let's hear them. Right, first off, mm. I ran into a little kid who extorted him 30 years ago, and the same thing happened again. <sighs> what are you saying? Ciao. Just listen, all right? <laughs> this guy says that 30 years back, he was extorted by an elementary school kid wearing a backpack. The kid was super tall. He says like 180 centimeters. <clears throat> this guy is tall. He's taller than me. That kid apparently was Ryuji Gora. Even young Ryuji was known to put adults to shame with his height, you see. Anyhow, 30 years go by and this guy crosses paths with him again and the same story unfolds. He would never extort anyone. It was 30 years ago, right? Why would? Why is he so sure it's the same person? According to the victim, the man had blonde hair and a scar on his mouth. Blonde hair with a mouth scar for him. That features match. Anna? On top of that, he said that the man straight called himself Ryuji Goda. Nani. Like, <laughs> curious, don't you think? <sighs> sure is. And then he's on this guy. The victim said they crossed past in East Sotanburi. Uh. The criminal returns to the scene of a crime, huh? Alright, I'll check it out. Okay. Jonu! Dorini Surung! Hey, Jody, does the name Matsumura uh, ring a bell? Yeah. Matsumura? No, not familiar. Anone? Well, he is Sotenbury's longtime jack of tall trades. Could say he's my senior in a way. Hmm. Big cities have plenty of sleuths and odd jobs, man. He must have had a good rep if he's on your radar. Seane. Absolutely. Anyhow, he asked me to take on a job. A jack of all trades hiring another jack of all trades. Mm. Yeah, Matsumura handles himself for everything himself, but everyone needs a helping hand eventually. Several decades riding solo, he must really know his stuff. Uh huh. Heard he's been on his own since he was a kid. Was raised in an orphanage. Mm. Orphanage? Yep. Man, what was it called? Anna? Oh, yeah. I think it was Sunflower. Oh! <laughs> it's the same one! Sunflower? Huh? Yeah, pretty sure that was it. Some place over in Kanto. No way. Does that, she mean the same place I grew up? Anyhow, he's looking for someone to do physical labor. Wants to rent a moth. Uh, me for a bit. Uh. Sure, I'll go. Money? Really? Surprised you're going to go about it. That Matamuri guy has piqued my interest. Where do I find him? No, the Wild Jackson in West Shuf uh, Shofukucho. Uh, he said he'd brief you there. Uh. Got it. I'll stop by. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just Jonia. activating all of these uh, side quests so that Jonia I can um, do them all at the same time. End the destruction. <sighs> Free, right? Got a minute to spare? <sighs> Something tells me this is definitely going to take more than a minute. Always kick on the uptake, Jody. Love that about you. As I'm sure you already guessed, I got a request for you. Alright, let's hear it. Oh, You're the best. Mm. So, have you heard about the homeless hunts that have been going on, uh, going down recently? I've heard about this one. Mm. Homeless hunts? Every day. They're doing more damage than the last. Now they're starting to hit people in the network. Who's that kid but first, I want you to find out who's behind them. Then, I want you to put the screws to them. Hard. <sighs> That's terrible. And now that I know it's happening, I just can't sit around and do nothing. I'm on it. Because you might say something like that. Appreciate Jody. You please about the culprit? No, zilch. But I did hear one thing that caught my ear. Which was right around the same time the homeless one started up, a guy nobody'd seen before was uh, with him an outsider then. Gotta be. And the, the guy's supposed to be built, like ridiculously built. Gorilla built. Gorilla built. And we just had another gorilla slide in today. Someone spotted him around construction site in Shofukucho. Uh. Construction site in Shofukucho. Got it. Might not come uh, to anything, but it's all we got to do. Yeah, the best, Jory. You. Jory. 
This might take a little while, guys. Best strap in. You, you're a guy with a lot of life experience, right? Mm -hmm. Little out of field there. Come on, indulge me. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say my life hasn't exactly been uneventful. Just as I figured. In that case, don't know advice to youngsters should be a piece of cake for you. Mm -hmm. You're not telling me that's my next job, are you? Mm -hmm. I know you're a jack of all trades, but isn't the youth, isn't youth outreach a little outside your wheelhouse? No, no, you're thinking with your humanitarian brain. You gotta think with your business brain. If we want to secure our success down the line, we've got to market to these young people. They're our future clients. Ah, I see how it is. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of advice am I supposed to be giving? You're gonna have to ask the client about that directly. His name is Genta Kusano. The plan is for you, for you guys to meet at Smile Burger so I can ask you to head over there. Uh. You really are relentless. For sure, I'll do it. Recruit homeless Yamanaka. What's this about? Oh, oh right. You started the Joryu clan for the castle's hell team rumble, right? Figured you were short somebody, so I thought I'd introduce you to someone I know. How's that for helpful? Yeah. So helpful. Can this guy even fight though? Of course he can. I heard he's been in a ton of castle tournaments over the years. I don't know much more about that, but at least he'll give you some extra oomph in the ring. <clears throat> sure, but how will I convince him to join? Most of the homeless folks come running over here all these one. So you'd really have to step it, uh, step in it for them to reject you. <sighs> you sure about that? Well, I guess I'll just see for myself. <laughs> Yamanaka stands usually around the Ashitaba, uh, Ashitaba Park. Go and show him that classic Joryu turn. Uh. Right. I should head to the Ashitaba Park. Oh, Jory, I've been waiting on you. Strongest convenient store clerk. No money on this one. Mm. The strongest convenient store clerk? What does that mean? Mm. According to my sources, I hear that there's a clerk at the Popo in Shofu Kucho who's a real powerhouse. The rumors are true. Might be worth recruiting him, don't you think? Yeah, a convenience store clerk shouldn't be hard to find either. I'll go check it out. <laughs> I see you're real talking to the whole talent scout, taking to the whole talent scout thing, Joryu. Good luck out there, champ. Better go pop or shoot you in shop Joryu! Joryu! Alright. Four more? Mm. Liberate the hammer man. What's this request? Well, you already started scrounging up for the Joryu clan for team, Hell Team Rumble, right? Mm. So I did some scouting for new recruits. The network flexed its power a bit and scoped out each and every corner of Sotenburi. Zeroed in on construction workers called Nono, Nuno Kawa. Mm. So he's got what it takes? You betcha! I'm told it's a marvel just to behold his ripped pod absolutely demolishing concrete with a sledgehammer. Uh. I mean, that is his job. You'll find them at the construction site at Chufukucho. Go call dibs on him before someone else does. Uh. Got it. I think this is what I think it is. I think I know what this might be. No, it's not what I think it is. It's just what I believe I think it is. Gotta catch him balls! 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 Gotta catch him balls, Sujiman! What's going on with this request? Someone needs some uh, balls? Ciao. That's golden balls, my friend. Not what you're thinking. Extremely valuable little balls made of gold. The someone who wants them is Shen Shen-san. Like, um, uh, Shen-san. Not Shen-long. Shen-ron. Big balls, buff. This guy, he collects them, says he needs seven. <clears throat> seven balls, huh? Oh, no. That's right. He's well known and well healed. Ball connoisseur. Apparently, you bring him seven of these puppies, he says he'll grant you a single wish. Believe it, too. Shen San's freaking amazing. He even helped me through some tough times back in the day. <clears throat> Is that so? Okay, then. 
Where can I get my hands on these balls? He doesn't know. That's why he came to me. I expect you'll find them in the very hard to reach nooks and crannies that were on Sotomori and the castle. That's not much to go on. Yeah, this one's a real ass chopper. He ain't in a hurry though. There's no deadline, so maybe just sniff around for the balls while you're doing other stuff. We need to take your time with them. No need to go to a moment. Uh, Got it? Good. Now get out there and show me some balls, Joryu. Well, I can't say I'm not curious and might make for a nice change of pace. I'll give it a shot. Red Peacock's Rumble? Those Red Peacocks you took down before, seems they want to have a word with you. Actually, more like setting things once for all. I imagine they're going to try and take you on all at once. <sighs> all at once. Not even one on one, huh? They should grow a pair at first. Mm. They're waiting for you at Shoku Control. What you going to do? Uh. I'll go. No use dragging this out. I'm going to get this over with. Look at you, would, Jory. You're a genuine article. They'll, li uh, they'll likely have a bunch of guys there, so watch yourself. Uh. Yeah. The Golden Samurai. Mm. So what's this about? Gold Samurai? I keep hearing about Money? it. What's with... Huh? Everybody in Sotobori's Thug World is talking about that guy. You're telling me you never heard of him? <sighs> A thug World? In any case, no, I haven't. Anna? He's been prowling the streets of Sotobori wearing glittering gold armor. Hence the name, of course. Almost a local cryptid, really. Apparently, this guy's strength is no joke. Goes around picking fights with whoever that looks strong, then churns them into pulp. <sighs> it's gotten to be such a menace that my inbox has been flooded with requests to take care of him. Mm. One of those requests even stated money's no object, so you can expect a big payout for this one. <sighs> huh. Doesn't sound like someone I really want to mess with, but we can't let him go around beating up people up either. Mm. Where do you think I could find him? Mm. Kinda moves all around town, so we don't have a fix on him. Just gotta get out there and start looking. Okay. No doubt he'll come charging as soon as he claps eyes on you. Make sure you're prepped before you go trying to take him down. If you're not ready, steer clear. You don't want to approach him without some safety measures up your sleeve. Got that? Uh. Loud and clear. So after five minutes of that, I finally got all of them active. Ah, it's this plonker. He's right here. Made it easy for me. Ooh. Silver plate. That's not a dragon ball. Dokkan, dokkan, suiteru. Dokkan, dokkan, paridais. Well, if it isn't that little piece of shit coward, figured you'd be too busy shitting yourself to show. We're gonna sell things for good this time. Good. I beat you one and all, one already. I thought we did settle things. Ah. Shut the hell up. I gotta go to accept that shit. The red peacocks are gonna be the number one crew in Sotenburi. No way in hell we're gonna back down now. We'll make an example of you and rise to the top together. And if I defeat you, we're going to swear to put an end to it all of this. Ah. Yeah, sure. If you win. Come on, snap this old man in half.
Gonna keep, keep keep exploring it. Why, why fight when you don't need to? <laughs> you suck. Just becomes full Shao Kahn. <sighs> You're unreal. You had such a huge damn advantage. Someone who isn't pre uh, even prepared to take me one on one could never beat me. Now, keep your promise and give you go give up your ways. Uh. Fine. God damn it. So long. Why? Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. What? Tanomas. I want to become strong like you. Would you? Would you teach me? Yeah. What? Teach you? What are you talking about? I don't take on disciples. Please. There'll be motivation. I need to be better. I need to be better myself. Have it your way. Oh. All right. Thank you. I won't let you down. Akira Guren. Oh. That's this guy. I don't oh. know. I don't like. It kind of reminds me of names. Seems like the red peacocks have really fallen. Huh. That just means it's our chance to expand. <laughs> That's right. Soon, Sotenburi will belong to us. <laughs> Welcome to the family, pal. What do you want? My name is Joryu. Uh. Akami told me about you. <laughs> hmm. That's so. Well, what do you want then? Uh. I want you to join my team. Mm -hmm. You're what now? You've got a red tiger, don't you? I heard you used to, uh, you used to fight at the castle. <clears throat> I'm looking to enter the team battle tournaments there. And I need people to fight on my side. Are you interested? Yeah. Hell no. I ain't going back there. Mine's been, up, uh, mine's been made up a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Huh? Why do you think? I only get one life to live, and I ain't throwing it away, that's why. That's, that's, last time I fought there, I damn near got killed. Was barely fast enough to get out in one piece. Then the casino sucked up uh, what little winnings I had, like a damn vacuum. You ask me, the whole boat's one big floating shithole. Yeah? But Kami sent you, huh? Well, I ain't saying no then. Mm. Oh? Aww. I owe her a lot. There's a single person around here who isn't grateful to her. So I was done being with the pain game, but I'm running out of cash. Couldn't die anyway if I don't start getting some dope. Team bars are less risky than the one on ones. Pays better too. Think you got yourself a deal? Uh. Thanks. I appreciate Boy. it. But if you ain't tough enough, we're not seeing any of that prize money. Not to mention I'll have to worry about making out alive again. That's why I want to see if you're the kind of person I can trust to keep me not dead. Mind if I give you a test? Uh. By all means. Yeah, you passed the first one. Guts. Now round two. 
Saltonbury civilian. How about how about cheating? How do you feel about that one, bro? You wanna you wanna still fight? <laughs> Setting his get cleaned up. Get cleaned up. <laughs> get cleaned up, bro. Get cleaned up. We got a fight to win. Oh. Hell, you're really something. Think I can rely on a guy like you to keep us all above ground? All right, I'm in. Time to make that prize money rain. Homeless Yamaoka, a former bronze level fighter, skilled in wielding a pipe since his life was in danger, leading to him to li uh, live on the streets of Sotenburi. Uh. Got to hear it. Don't worry, your life's in capable hands. I'm going to hold you to that. Thanks to Akame's connections, I was able to get Yamanaka on my side. So there's another person I need to speak at, Smileburger. Smileburger! Supposed to meet Akame's client here. Hello. Young man. Um, sorry. Hello. Are you Akame-san's... Yep. I'm Joryu. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. I'm Kusano. Let's get to it then. Akame tells me you need some advice. Is that correct? Hello. Uh, well, about that. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Hmm? Is it too late to cancel our appointment? I'll pay the full fee and everything, of course. Mm -hmm. You're sure? Could you at least let me know what you're cancelling or for reference? Nah. Well, I was originally hoping to get some dating advice. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. So your heart's been broken. So to here, but keep your chin up, champ. There'll be plenty of dating opportunities in your future. <laughs> no, that's just it. My invitation went off without a hitch. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, that's good news. But you must have really wanted to help if you wi were willing to pay us for it. Did you end up getting advice elsewhere? Yeah. Yes, I might have gotten my hands on the best life advice I could ask for. None other than this here. Chat DDT! <laughs> I didn't think we'd get a chat GBT <laughs> reference so soon. Mm -hmm. Chat DDT. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, you're not familiar with Chart DDT? It's huge tech breakthrough. We're at the frontier of the new industrial revolution. Oh, God. Even though it's still so new, that program's attracted so much attention. They started discussing regulations surrounding it use at the G7 summit. Mm. I feel I'm missing something here, but it seems impressive. Yeah. Oh, you bet. Chart DDT might look like any other app at first but it's got power to answer absolutely any question you ask it. Mm. Any question. I mean, it's supposed to. Kusano, nothing in this world is absolute and technology can't solve all your problems. You should take care not to treat this lightly. <coughs> wow, you're awfully serious, aren't you? You should really give it a chance, Jody. So. <laughs> Chart DDT's magic shows to Dalek Zazaya, and you might learn something. Uh. Yes, I can't fight the future forever. However, how do I go about this? Well, first off, so I just say something into my phone. So. Yep. Go ahead. Ask it if you uh, 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 anything you want to know. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, um, what exactly is ChatDDT? ChatDDT is a machine learning AI designed to provide highly accurate responses to a wide variety of cons conservation conversation topics. However, ChatDDTs are not 100% correct. It's important to do your own research and make final decisions for yourself. Mm. That's strange. Did I call their assistance hotline by <laughs> call their assistance hotline by mistake? Yeah. Nope. You're definitely talking to the program. It's listening to your question. And then the AI came up with a response and read it back to you. Mm. Hey, hi? Chart DDT just said it a second ago, short for artificial intelligence. Artificial... Ugh. Uh, okay, let me see if I can clarify. Oh, oh, a robot. It's like a robot. Nanny. What? That was a robot for talking to me? Yeah. Uh, sure, more or less. That's incredible. Go ahead, ask another one. Whatever you're curious about. Uh. Hmm. Let me think for a second. <laughs> uh, any good restaurants around here? Tell me the secret of Kazuma Kiryu's popularity. Tell me what Hanawa's weakness is. I swear, everyone's gonna pick Kazuma Kiryu's popularity. What makes Kazuma Kiryu so popular and cool? Kazuma Kiryu? Is that supposed to be somebody famous? Eh, yeah. In his line of work, you'd have to be living under a rock not to know that name. Kazuma Kiryu is an Italian chef and restaurant owner <laughs> based in the Saitama Prefecture. Mm. Wait, what? Last October, his book, Three Minute Recipes for the Time Crunch Chef, made a successful debut. Received a slew of positive reviews praising its attentiveness to the needs of a busy homemaker. On his popular video channel, his positive disposition and upbeat commentary provided widespread entertainment for his 100,000 subscribers. Mm. Wow, didn't realize I developed such a flourishing culinary clear <laughs> career. <laughs> It's a lot less all-knowing than I would let uh, let, be, let, let to believe. What is this thing actually useful for? Yeah, well, like I told you earlier, it's great for giving the best romantic advice ever. Nanny. I'm starting to put the pieces together here. So this is the amazing advisor that made you cancel my services. So it is. See, there's this great gal at my university called Takaishi san. I just asked her to do what to say to her, and before I knew it, she was saying yes to date with me. Nanny. Seriously? Oh, I should ask her what to do next. I'm about to go out with a girl I like. How should I prepare for our date? If you're about to go on a date with a girl you like, the following points will help you prepare. 1. Practice good hygiene. 2. Suggest conversation topics that you and your daughter date will enjoy. Be polite and demonstrate your best attributes. That's actually really good advice. Uh. But that's the bare minimum. That's true. Hold on, just get it a chance. Uh -huh. How do I demonstrate my best attributes? Showing off the best version of yourself is not an easy task in today's day and age of social media knowledge distribution. This is surprisingly complex for ChatGPT. An overload of information can lead to parts of yourself being drowned out among unimportant details. To leave an impression on your partner, you must boldly showcase your personality. Mm. Is there a setting you can change to make it less vague? Yeah. No, no, we're getting there. How can I boldly show my personality? You could try jumping off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You could what? River diving from Bibbage is a thrill seeking practice that has been outlawed in many areas due to high rates of related accidents. But that is precisely why I'm why doing it may prove uh, prove your resolve. <sighs> is this thing stupid? Yeah. Wow, I never would have thought of that. None. What? This is a terrible idea. Boy. He's going to jump off the bridge. Tano, you idiot. Are you really going to jump off the river? He might have to cancel the service, but I'm about to let him I'm not about to let him risk his life because some program told him to. If the world told you to jump off a bridge, would you? If everyone jumped off the bridge, would you? Oh, that's that's a Nobody saw that, okay? Turn around every now and then. Stamian X. X. Instrument of conquering uh, something.
Huh? Mm -hmm. Hang on, who's that? <sighs> Tough man, are you a Kansai folk hot-headed or what? Just asking a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. Built like a gorilla that I come in with never fails, huh? Hang on. Is this who I think it is? Oh. Let's see here. Yep, there's no mistaking you. Been waiting. It's you, ain't it? Mm. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, no sense playing dumb, buddy. There's no mistaking you, gorilla man. Oh, wait. <laughs> Uh? What? Who are you calling? <clears throat> Hold on. You sure you got your facts straight? Yeah, gorillas ain't smooth talkers, pal. You ain't getting out of this one. It's what's his face from Judgment. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's the first time he's hit me. That was easy. He's from Judgment. I've forgotten his name. But he's from Judgment. <coughs> oh boy, stronger than I thought you'd be. Happy Thanksgiving! Hi, Oscar Marquez! Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Boy. Explain yourself. What the hell have you been talking about this whole time? Uh? Why don't you explain yourself? How long are you going to keep playing dumb, you big gorilla bastard? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Hardy freaking hard. Now, how about you telling me why? what's so goddamn fun about homeless hunts, huh? Nanny. What? You think I'm behind of the homeless hunts? Ah. Uh? There you go, with the dumb act again. Fess up, you're, you're the piece of shit who's been getting punks to attack homeless people around here, aren't you? Yeah. Not sure how you arrived to that conclusion, but you got it mixed up. I'm looking for the person behind the homeless hunts. Nani? You what now? Hello. Kaito! That's his name, Kaito Aniki. He's also from Judgment. Kaito? Oh. Yo, Higashi. Don't run ahead and leave me behind, will ya? I don't know Sotenburi that well. Ah, my bad, man. But hey, gang's all here now. All well that ends well, am I right? <sighs> you bolted so far that I don't even know if you heard everything the client had to say. I get you excited to finally get out of a case, and maybe wrangle in the excitement, you know? Yeah. I already told you that wasn't it, you goon. I just felt the client so damn much, I just couldn't, I couldn't just around. I'm guessing we was meant to say couldn't just sit around, so our misunderstandings cleared up then. Ah, mm. uh, we'll see. Oh, come on, Aniki. Hey, sorry for the trouble. Looks like my Aniki here has caused some pro uh, confusion. Good. Who are you two? Oh. We're detectives from Camarocho. Mm. Camarocho? Huh? And who's asking? Uh. I'm, well, I'm a jack of all trades. Mm. Jack of all trades? That means you're Akami? Uh. So you know Akame? Oh. Scoping out your destination is exactly what detectives do, pal. Well, one thing led to another, and I happen to be doing some work for Akami right now. <clears throat> Akami is a, fr uh, a friend to the homeless. She would never have anything to do with the homeless hunts. Gotcha. Seems to be the story, ain't it? Uh. Come on, Aniki, let's head back. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See you around. What would detectives from Kamarocho be doing all the way here in Sotenburi? Better let Akami know. How are you doing anyway, Oscar Marcus, if you're still about? The one and only Akami-san speaking. Uh. I found your gorilla. Hot damn, speedy work. So what's his deal? Apparently, he's a detective from Kamarocho. He said he was looking for whoever's behind the homeless hunts too. <clears throat> and for whatever reason, he thought it was me. 
the hell? <sighs> That's what I said. Huh? Guess we're still a little short on intel then, aren't we? Looks like there's an old homeless guy in West Shofukucho who survived one of the attacks by the skin of his teeth. Head over there and see what he has to say, will you? Uh. Got it. I'm on my way. What a guy. So it looks like we can do a lot of stuff on this side. So as long as stuff doesn't suddenly turn up at the bottom, we can, um, should be alright. Have you taken a picture of Quedo or Taro? I keep forgetting to do that. Strongest convenience store for that is, huh? Oh my god, it's Harry Potter. Welcome. This guy looks beat. Probably not him, but I'll ask you to be sure. Uh, do you need something? Uh. Looking for the world's strongest convenience store, Herc. Oh no, you mean I'm world famous now? Mm -hmm. hmm? So it really is. Yeah, I think you're talking about me. My name is Toby, uh, Tobashira. I know. Okay, Tobashira san, I'll get right to the point. I've heard how tough you are, and I'd like you to join my team. Yeah. I appreciate the offer, but I can't. Not with my part time job. I'm fine with just your days off. No, I'm telling you, I can't. I've got shifts from here to eternity. Nani. What do you mean? I'm guessing that's that. Uh -huh. Tobashira, the hell's all that racket? Tobashira, if you're so full of energy, guess that means you can come into work Saturday and Sunday. <coughs> but, sir. I've been working day and night shifts, and it's been over 20 days straight. Good. Hang on. Did you refuse my offer because this guy's already working you to death? Huh. Yes, that's right. Because <sighs> you're the manager. Listen, I'm no lawyer, but isn't it illegal to make someone work that many days in a row? <sighs> illegal? <laughs> Japan's a capitalist country, pal. You can't chain down a man who wants to work. Even Marx said that. Marx? Look, either way, Toby Shara doesn't seem to... Tobashira and doesn't seem to want to work uh, want the work you're giving him what Tobashira how are you feel, really feeling about this uh, um, well, uh, see yeah the guy everything's well and good uh, <laughs> that's the stuff Tobishira, uh, Tobashira I'm getting extra generous now so I'm gonna make it rain for you let's give you even more shifts and then some more and then some bonus shifts on top of that that's That's enough! Don't give me any more shifts, for the love of God! Sir, I'm begging you, please, just give me a normal schedule. Hmm. Who do you think's in charge here, Tobashira? It's like I always tell you, you want to negotiate your shifts? You better come prepared to fight. You think those new alarms of yours are going to change my mind? <laughs> yeah. Sir, I'm not the little pusher where I used to be. Hmm? Oh yeah? It sounds like Kuze's theme. So one night I'm doing manual labor, restocking drinks in the fridges. In the early next moment, when the regulars from the construction will show up, I'm honing my reflexes and powers of perception by grabbing their smokes in the middle of a blink of an eye. Over and over and over. Every little thing I do with the job has made me stronger than you can possibly imagine. Man. So that's how you got your nickname. As you can see, you want me to free of this store, you'll have to take down the manager. Uh. Say no more. His behavior is tyrannical, no matter how you slice it. Time to teach him a lesson. Yeah, come at me then. Once I'll give you a thrashing, you'll be working graveyard shifts for the next hundred years. Oh wow, I'm beating up old people. Alright, I'm gonna let him handle it. You can sit. We'll just blow the whole shop up. I didn't even do it. 
It's going to blow up the whole shop. <clears throat> you got me. Take one day off a week. Hell, take two. Whatever you want. All right, we won. I beat my manager. Mm. Yeah, you're a free man. Now clear. you're clear to join my team, right? Mm. What's wrong? I learned something today. Freedom is something you, can, you take with your own two fists. So, you want me to listen to a word you say? You'll have to take me down too. Then. Seriously? If you won't come at me, then I'll bring the fight to you. <laughs> my first choice is a free man. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow everything up. I lived. <laughs> you beat me. Can I ask your name? It's Joryu. Joryu, sir. Starting today. You'll be my new manager. Convenience store clerk that works at the Popo Shibuko. His signature style combines a rigorous of combating agreement to customers with the stamina of working consecutive days. To that rest, his support character who will stick close to the leader and a valuable asset who will can heal allies. <laughs> sure. Well, it'd be a shame not to put that strength of yours into good use. Well, welcome to fight by my side. Hi. Come in. Schedule me, me for any shift you like. Strongest convener, strong myself. The team will be in good shape if I keep this up. What's apparently here? I don't know. Oh, there's a guy. Hello. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Were you the one attacked in the homeless hunts? Huh? Where are you again? I'm... Oh. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're those Kamarucho detectives. Kaito. And this here is Higashi. <sighs> What are you doing here? I can't imagine it's a coincidence. Nah, we're chasing the same rabbit as you. You work for Akame, the jack of all trades, ain't that right? Uh. I'm just helping out for the time being. Call me Joryu. Joryu-san, is it? Ooh. Uh, all right, bud. Go ahead and leave this one to me. How about you go and, and give our client an interim report, huh? Yeah. Aniki, I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, but I'm not a detective or an investigator. 
Come on, don't say that. You're getting paid like a detective, ain't you? Mm. All right, fine, I suppose. Just please keep your wits about you, all right? Boy. You said we're chasing the same rabbit. So we're both after whoever's behind the homeless hunts then? Oh. Suppose so. I'm here on the case looking for the ringleader. Mm. But why detectives from Camarocho? I got contacted in the neighborhood. And who knows, we might want to branch out at some point in the future. Oh. So I came out here myself to get the lay of the land. Lay of the land, huh? Doesn't that, doesn't explain how you landed the job so quickly. Hey, when I get the lay of the land, I lay hard, pal. That's how I detectives roll. Besides, we're always on the clock. And they say you should live somewhere for a week before you move there, right? Mm. Sure, makes sense. Still surprised you found someone so, uh, kind enough to give you an out-of-towner job. Oh. So Tunbury is a big place. It shows how enough detective work to go around. I barely put my feelers out and the case just fell right into my lap. The ask was to find someone who's behind the homeless hunts. Uh. I see. And I'm still wondering one thing. Huh? What's that? <clears throat> Akame's name has an awful lot of weight behind it in certain belief. Who on earth would ignore that and kick the case to a nameless detective instead? Yeah. How the hell would I know? Wouldn't you think they had some reason they didn't want to ask Akane? Hmm. You two, uh, want something? Or? Sumane. Oh, sorry. I was wondering if you could tell me about what happened to you. Oh. And that's what I'm here for, too. How's about I listen in? Do what you like. <clears throat> I hear you had a run-in with the homeless runs recently. Did you go over what happened in more detail? Oh, that's what you want to know. Happened a few nights ago. A bunch of us homeless folks got together to sleep in a big old huddle. Then, sometime in the night, I had to get up to take a leak. Got up, went to the public bathroom in the park nearby, did my deed. By the time I got back, everybody had been worked over real bad. whole damn thing happened in the space of ten minutes. Heard later that everyone there got beat to hell with bats or something or hell other. One of the guys had a little money, his wallet got rifled through, and all the cash was stolen. Mm. That's awful. You're telling me, what in the hell are we supposed to do? What happened to the people who were attacked? Parted away in an ambulance right there and there. Might be a silver lining of the whole damn thing, at least they got a few nights in a warm bed. Mm. I suppose. Did you see who did it? Well, it all happened so fast. Even the ones who attacked said they couldn't make out anybody out. <sighs> uh, do I see a big belly guy? Looks like a gorilla. A gorilla? Didn't hear anything about that. But if you're just talking about strength. Oh. Oh ho, got a coup for us? Listen, I've been around the block a time or two. And I'll tell you something. You two are the most gorilla ass motherfuckers I have ever seen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. This guy didn't mince his words, bro. Yeah, uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. Anywho, I got no idea who you're looking at, but all I know is what I'm, uh, what I'm to pay. Wish I could have helped you more. Uh. You've done plenty. Don't worry about it. You sleeping outside tonight? Where else? If you ever need a hand, lean on Akame. She'll always have your back. Akame, huh? feel like I've heard that name before. Alright then, I'll keep it in mind. My thanks to you. Yeah. Julie, if you're really in a jam, you ought to call the cops. They're way more reliable. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I buy that. Well, uh, goodbye now. They, they do not trust the police. Boy. Why did you have to cut in like that? I thought we cleared up your misunderstanding. Oh. The hell did I say I was wrong? Don't you think calling the cops is a better first move than running a Kame for help? Someone here uh, ain't ever met, you know what? <sighs> well, look, we didn't hear much useful any, uh, any, hear much useful anyhow. Looks like we sh we schlepped our asses for here for nothing. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh yeah? Uh. That many homeless people were sent to the hospital in a matter of minutes. That means that whoever did it had numbers too. And if they had bats, a group like that is going to draw attention. Even at night, somebody might have seen them. Boy. Were you not thinking the same thing? Oh. Ah, uh, I estimated you, pal. Might be even more cut out for detective work than I thought. So what next? Gonna go pound the pavement? Talk to people? See what you can find out? Uh. Yeah, I'll try looking for witnesses. Well, shit. Let me come with you. <clears throat> not particularly fond of working with people I barely know. Well, listen. 
we're both looking for the same person, but our payouts coming from different clients. So we can split the work down the middle, but still get paid the same amount each. That's actually a good point. Huh? Now, me, I got a gumshoe gift for getting info out of people. And you? Seems like you know this town damn sick better than me. So tell me again, why shouldn't we work together? Together, huh? Seems like what he really wants is to keep an eye on me. Joint forces! Are you gonna disagree with this? Alright, let's see what a detective can do then. Oh! Oh, oh! Awful sharp of you, my friend. Well, I'd say our investigation is officially underway. Where to first? We should start at the spot where we know the homeless hunters were. Sounds good. No objections here. This is cool. This is really cool. I know. Can we ask a few questions? Um, what do you want? Mm. Some people were attacked around here a few nights ago. And I was hoping you could tell me anything about it. Oh, I'm sorry I can't help you with that. I'm only ever here during the day. I head out at night. World's a vicious damn place, I tell you. Uh. Be careful out there. And if you need anything, ask a comment. Any homeless person, uh, people around here should know her. Yeah. Or, you know, you're my detective agency. You ever find yourself in a jam? Come talk to us. And tell your friends to... Uh... Good. What the hell are you talking about? You don't even have an office out here yet. Hey, you were the one who started advertising. Uh, well, thank you. Dude. I'll uh, keep both those options in mind. Oh. Cool. Next stop, who's up? Mm. There's a convenience store close to where the attack happened. The clerk there might have seen something. Hi, welcome. Hello. Sorry to bother you. Mind if we ask you a few questions? Sure, what about? Mm. You heard about the homeless hunts around here lately? Yeah, seems like there's been a good amount of them. There was one right near here a few nights ago. We'd like to talk to anyone who was working here that night it happened. Ah, then I'm the guy you're looking for. We're working the last few nights. <coughs> yeah, do you remember anything? Hmm, uh, do I remember anything? I gotta tell you, I'm pretty out of it, uh, out of it when it gets real late. I don't remember anything about what you're asking. <coughs> Nothing, huh? Oh. Listen, kid, we'll take whatever you got, anything at all. Dig real deep, way back into whatever you gotta do. Any little bit, any little bit of help. Anything unusual, anything out of the ordinary. Weird looking customers coming by, maybe. Weird looking customers, you know, now that you mention it, there was somebody. Ooh. Oh yeah? What about them? Well, it was sometime in the middle of the night. Two or three guys came in, looked like real punks, rough ass hoodlum type dudes. Huh? Then what? Then I looked out the window and saw ten more dudes just like them, all hanging out outside. <clears throat> Did they have bats, stuff like that? Ah, no idea. I just knew I hoped they wouldn't come in. I know. Were there any huge built guys, guys like gorillas? Gorillas? <clears throat> what? No, 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 not uh, nothing like that. Gorillas though. Nah, I didn't see anyone like that with them. Anything else you remember? Which way they went, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't know. No problem, kid. Thanks for the help. I'm sorry to bother you at work. Ooh. Let's roll. Didn't get too much of a lead, but this guy's persistence did get us some eyewitness info. Uh -huh. What's up, man? <laughs> uh, nothing. I started to get a feeling you might really be a detective. <sighs> Still had your doubts, did you? What detective dresses like that? <laughs> Come on, let's go. He does look like a Yakuza guy <laughs> dressed up as a detective, being a detective instead. Huh? Can I ask you something? Why Akami is looking into homeless hunts? Uh. Didn't I tell you earlier? Akami's info network is what it is because the homeless cooperate with her. So at the end of the day, it's because looking into it is in her best interest. 
awfully cynical outlook. The person who hired me was, fa was family to one of the homeless hunts victims. Oh. The victim ended up in hospital and they called his family. We wound up reuniting, that, uh, reuniting him after years and years. That was a pearl in a turd of a situation. The family doesn't want the same thing to happen to anyone else. They're genuine about it. And for that to happen, you've got to find the ringleader of the homeless hunts. That, that's why they didn't ask Akame either. <sighs> what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, look, don't worry about it. So, let's keep asking around, yeah? It is, it's, this is such a cool thing to see with the crossover, man. I don't. Can we ask you a question for a second? Huh? What do you want? <clears throat> do you know about the homeless hunt that happened around here a few nights ago? Well, you know something about it? Dude, are you a cop? Do I look like one? Point taken. But still, if anyone found out I talked. Oh. <laughs> it's. Oh. Hey, buddy. Don't worry about that, okay? Detectives have this thing called duty of confidentiality. No matter what we see or hear, nothing can be said to another person that might result in a disadvantage or drawback to you. What? Dude, you're a detective? Oh. Sure am. The duty of confidentiality is defined in Article 10 of the Detective's Code. Wow. Well, then I guess, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I love it. You can, can't just tell anyone you heard it from me, okay? I got a buddy that said Yonya from Gehenna mustered those guys. Mm -hmm. Gehenna? Gang of punks that used to be headquartered around here. Yonya was either the top guy or second in command. Did you muster them often? Nah, Gehenna was pretty active back in the day, but the cops cracked down on them or some shit, and they disbanded. That's why it was so crazy to hear Yonya's name again after so long. And my buddy, he used to run with them. He told me the muster was for the homeless hunt. Mm -hmm. Is he sure about that? Are you sure about that? I mean, why would he lie about it? He told them he couldn't go, to the, go, go at the last minute, so he got out of it. What's Yonya like? Dude's like obsessed with fighting. Pretty sure he used to be a muscle for some other gang back in the day. I don't even remember the name. Dude's built. Mm -hmm. Built like a gorilla? He's like, no, more like a giraffe. <laughs> like a. Bro, what? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. He couldn't give off that impression. Man, I bet he'd, be, he'd fucking murder you if he said that to his face. <laughs> I love the dialogue. It's really dumb. It's sometimes. Ooh. Well, hey, thanks for the help. Sure, sure, but I'm serious. Don't tell anyone I told you this, okay? Uh. We won't. It's a promise. <sighs> well, what do you make of that? Say we believe him? Uh. We don't have anything else to go on. We might as well try. Ooh. Oh, agreed. But listen, where the hell are we supposed to buy Nyonya? That's Asakame. Oh. Yeah, huh? That would be surefire. Jory, you baby. Any developments? I feel like it's one of those uh, like uh, eccentric types. It's like Jory, you baby. How is my favorite bodyguard doing? You know that sort of thing. Uh. Yeah. Does the name Gahena sound familiar? Bunch of thugs that used to wave their dicks around Sotenburi, right? Yonya and Kanashiro ran, ran at it. About half their guys ran off on them, so they disbanded. Uh. Well, it looks like Yonya rallied the troops for the homeless hunt. What? That asshole just barely limboed his way out of the charges. So why the fuck ain't he behaving? Can you point here to where Yonya and the others are? Oh, that would be at the snack bar. New Momoko. The Gehenna guys came in and took the place. Made it their hideout. Got it. I'll try going there. Looks like their hideout's a snack bar called New Momoko. Oh. Damn, nice work. Didn't think you'd get an answer so quick. <laughs> Not to mention, she told you the exact spot where the ex-gang punks are hanging out. Almost makes you think she's in on the whole thing. Nanny. What was that? Yeah. Just thinking out loud, buddy. Come on, let's get schmoovin'. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
You can tell that Kiryu is like way older than Kaito. Hey, this is a private party and this <laughs> you are not invited. You did get lost in the way of the retirement home. Turn yourselves around and fuck off right out of here. Uh. I genuinely thought Kaito was a poster. We have business with Yonya. Huh? Oh, you do. You're fucking right. Yeah, fucking right. What you got in the, what you got is some nerve, dickhead. Yo. Hang on. I'm on. I'm the one you're asking for. But I don't know either of you from fuck all. What business you got with me? Uh. I just want to say thank you. Seems like you've been taking care of our homeless lately. <laughs> oh, that's so? Our homeless? Who's are they? Dipshit. Assuming you've heard the name Akame. Oh. Bet your ass. So you're the one working for Akame lately, huh? Hey, everybody, off your asses. We gotta roll the red carpet f out for our guests. Are we were about to blow up this whole place. Mm. I thought you were going to play dumb, but you just came right out with it. <laughs> yeah, you came here to find us. We've been here waiting for you. Nanny. Waiting for us? <sighs> yeah, just drop the act, will you? Mm. What? Oh. Jody, you son. I'm looking at these guys and I think you can take them on your own. Nanny. Huh? This ain't gonna need both of us, is it? Whoever you want, you probably wouldn't have gotten a turn anyway. Listen to you. So fucking cool. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. It's too fucking late to apologize. Look at the look at the bunny dance. No, I wanted the I wanted him to join in. How convenient. This guy's slippery. Try to blow him up. <laughs> Mother fuckers. He said he was waiting for us. What does that mean? Good. I still have a question for you. Ooh. Finally, I can take over from here. You think you can make demands after now just sitting on your ass and watching? Jory, you son, isn't your goal to stop the homeless hunt? Yeah, so? Well, you're all done, then, ain't you? <sighs> Me, on the other hand, my client wants to meet his clown, so you won't mind if I take him, right? Yeah. I still have something to ask him. Yeah, right. You sure that's all? <sighs> You've been trying to find out what I'm really up to this whole time, but there's nothing else, and I have no patience for the runaround. Oh, we're fighting again? But if you're gonna keep stirring the pot, maybe you should try a little more force. 
Ooh. You know what? That suits me way better. We get a round two? I'm happy to see this. Okay, buddy. Let's see what you got. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We gotta do this full health. We gotta give this guy the fight. We gotta give him the full. We gotta give him the full thing. Yo, we going full Yakuza on this one. Let's go. You wanna go, buddy? Oh, you basket. Good shit. <laughs> that feeling is not mutual. <laughs> uh, shit. Bad timing. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up already? <laughs> Just answer it. I wouldn't take advantage while you're distracted. Listen, Higashi. This ain't good at... Uh, this ain't a good time. Wait. Why you? Huh. Uh? What? The hell are you talking about? Cut the shit, man. Yeah. Hang on a second. He's got nothing to do with this. All right, all right. I got it. Mm. What is that thing in his ear? Or is it just dark? Like, is it just painted it dark on purpose? Sorry to put, to put a damper on things. Good. What was that about? Wasn't that your guy, Higashi? Can I ask you something? <sighs> What's stopping you? You've done nothing but ask me self-important questions. It's no different than you asking for Yonya. Mm. Look, I feel bad, all right? This is the last thing, I promise. Please, I'm asking you. You are Akame ain't in cahoots with Yonya over there, are you? What? <sighs> I'm hearing talk that Akame is the one making the homo sons happen, and she's using these chumps to do it. Mm. You think this whole rash of homeless hunts is a ruse we're putting on? Look, for Akame, the homeless also represent a possibly, possibility he force it for her organization's info. Not too hard to imagine that she needs, taking, needs to take care of people who weren't of any use to her anymore. Yeah. That's absurd. Well, maybe so. Is it your client who told you that? Oh. Yeah. And you just ate that story right up? Some detective. Mm. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a sob story. The client, they brought along this homeless person that was a victim of one of the hunts. He talked about how self-serving Akame was. <clears throat> he said no matter how hard you tried, 